Hello, Nigel here. This is going to be um, a not very brief explanation of the decisions in Ishtar Commander 1.5 around armor grading, as I'm expecting a lot of discussion to occur. Ishtar Commander 1.5 will be out in a couple of days, midweek. Um, if you're watching this video in the future, hopefully it's already out for you. Once you've upgraded, just go to the settings and turn on armor grading. So armor grading already exists in other applications and you're going to see things are quite different in Ishtar Commander and I wanted to explain why things are different and what's going on. So there are two problems I wanted to solve. The first problem I wanted to solve is my vault is getting packed full of armor. What can I delete? Give me some more hints about what is not so good. And then the second one is help me build a tier 12 build. And a lot of people hear tier 12 and they're like, what on earth is that? All it refers to is the cooldowns. Everyone knows you have intellect, discipline and strength cooldowns. And you can see you can have zero to five and it's talking about having a combined total of 12 tiers. So that would be five intellect, five discipline, two strength or four strength plus four discipline plus four intellect is 12. So it's talking about 12 tiers of cooldown. So once you've turned armor grading on, you will see that unlike other applications, I'm not using a percentage. And there's uh, various reasons for this. First of all, I don't think most people understand what percentages are. That's just a, a sad fact of life. The other thing is, is that um, the percentage range that's being used is, uh, I think, a bit silly. So the percentages is all about what's the combined total of like your discipline and strength. What does this add up to? And is it the best possible role? So you need to understand that your discipline and strength on this item, it's a slightly random role and this can be good or bad. So when it drops for you, it could actually be a really good, good role with like maximum possible stats or rather weak. The other thing you need to know is as you upgrade this item to 335 light, these numbers increase. That's really important to understand. A lot of people don't know this, but if I choose a low level item, you see here that this is 32 and 29. If I upgrade this to 335 light, these numbers will increase. So this armor grading is all about if I increase this item to 335 light, will you know how much better will it get? And if you click the item, you're given a little hint here see approximately 13 stat points will be added to this item if you infuse it to 335 light. So going back to the percentage, uh, you can't have you know intellect zero, strength zero, discipline zero. So starting percentages at zero on that range seem to me confusing. If someone tells me a game or a, video or a film is rated 80%, that sounds really good to me. But in most of these apps, 80% means it's you know, a junk rating and you know, 97% is an excellent rating. That seemed to me really confusing. So instead of showing a percentage, I'm showing these, these bars. And you could think here that this here, if this was a, you know, this bar was empty, that would effectively be 80% on the other measurements. But I think that's probably easier for people to understand as zero or nothing. So now you know what a 12 tier build is, what does the bronze, silver and gold rating means? Quite simply, if you have many bronze items, you can do a 10 tier build. If you have many silver items, you can do a tier 11 build. And if you have some gold, you don't need everything to be gold. If you have some gold, then you can build a 12 tier character. So you're kind of looking for a couple of excellent golds, particularly look for artifacts, chest pieces, uh, helmets and legs, your ghosts and your class items that they don't have that many stats so don't go crazy spending time finding gold areas there but if you have a few golds and some silvers you can build a tier 12 character the next thing you need to understand is that all these formulas are approximations it is impossible and that's not an exaggeration it is impossible to know what an item is going to end up at when you infuse it to 335 light without infusing it the 335 light. So you will see, because I'm being ultra conservative in Ishtar Commander, it's possible if you have an item that's almost gold and it's a low level, when you infuse it to 335, it might end up being gold. Might. It could well end up still being silver. 
Being conservative though means that you won't see a gold item drop to silver or you shouldn't see uh, an item drop. You only see items stay at the level they are or maybe go up a level. So if you're, if you're looking to delete items, don't delete items that are pretty high on the silver range because when they're infused to 335, they might end up higher. Now I'm gonna explain why it is impossible to know what an item is gonna to be till it's upgraded to 335. So you see these numbers here as whole numbers, 32 and 29, and there's been enough work done on this area to know that these numbers are stored by Bungie internally as floating point numbers. So the API gives me this as 32. So let's simplify this. Let's imagine that I had an intellect of two and uh, the formula for actually working out things at 335 is a bit more complicated, but let's just say it was really simple and it was two times five and that would equal the answer. You know, two lots of five is 10. I'm hoping, I'm hoping your math level is at, <laughs> is at least at this level, otherwise this whole area is of zero interest to you. However, if you imagine that internally your intellect is actually at 2.8 and then the formula is applied to it, the answer is 14. So that's because there's this extra information that you know your, your intellect is not really two points, it's 2.8 points. And when the formula is then applied to it, you're gonna get this different answer. And that is what is going on in these formulas. This is why if you use Ishtar Commander or any of the other apps, you're gonna see that the numbers change when you infuse something to 335 and they're not completely accurate to what the predictions are. And there is no way around this. The Bungie API does not give anyone access to these numbers that Bungie have internally. So the community has done this great work, worked out roughly what the formulas are, but due to the rounding and this extra data, you can never know what an item is gonna be till you infuse it to 335. So my advice is with 100% infusion, if you have a pretty decent item, infuse it to 335 and see what the final stats are. That's your answer. There's just no way that this rating can be accurate till an item is at 335. What I'm doing and what you should know is that I take your intellect and strength and your discipline, I apply the formula, I look what the item will be at 335 light, I know roughly what the error range is, I take that error range, I remove it from the total, and I present that as the uh, gold, silver and bronze rating. So I'm presenting the most conservative number possible and that means when you upgrade an item, you might see it go up slightly. The good news is you won't see it drop, which I thought would be pretty distressing. This is also why I am not and will never be showing the exact numbers represented here because these exact numbers, this, this number here is an exact number, but it's a conservative number. But the percentage, which I know lots of people are gonna be saying, please, I want to see the percentage. That percentage is misleading. It's inaccurate. There is no way to know what the correct rating of an item is until it's at 335. And so I don't want any inaccurate numbers or any numbers that don't really come directly from Bungie to be in this app. So that is why they're not being shown. So that covers pretty much uh, all the decisions around armor grading. I'll go into a lot more detail. By the way, if something is rated bronze, that doesn't mean it's junk at all. For example, if you're a hand cannon fan like I am, you want to have gauntlets with a hand cannon reload speed perk, okay? That is way more important than whether it's, you know, gold, silver, or, or bronze rating. You wanna first get the right perks. You wanna get the right perks, say ammo perks on your leg armor. Then you wanna be worrying about this sort of tier 12 build. So there you go. That's all my thinking and my rationale behind the decision. Uh, tweet at me at Ishtar Commander or leave comments if you want to discuss this further. But if you want a more power user needs, I recommend using one of the other third party item managers. I particularly recommend DIM as they're doing amazing work here. But in Ishtar Commander, it's going to be kept pretty simple. And I hope you can understand why that is and see how things work in the app.